What's up guys, Andy here, and today on this date in 2016, I'm hoping most people remember, because if they don't, that's fine, and that's why the thumbnail I'm hoping will uh, give a little flashback, but today, I locked myself out of my house. And I'll explain the story, because I don't want to get into it too much, because I actually have a video to share with you guys on the day I actually took video. And I want to warn you guys, I didn't shave that day, but I had no choice. I thought I was going to freeze out there. So I'll tell you the story. And uh, I'm leaving my dog out of this. I want to be very clear. Uh, I mentioned him in the video. I'm going to show you, but, you know, I feel that it's irrelevant to bring it up now because I want to get to the point. So here I go. So I'm not allowed to go out of my house without my parents' permission because I live under their roof, obviously, and that's how it works. So. I snuck off to Rite Aid, which is a couple blocks away from my house. I thought I was going to be able to get back in, sneak back in, no problem. So, when I'm on my side of the house, because we actually have two doors that lets us into the house. We have the main door that lets us into our lobby, and then there's a door on the side of my house where it leads you right into the laundry room where the washing machine dryer is and then another door that leads into my kitchen. So that's where I was trying to get into. I have keys for that. So there's a big black gate. I open it. Then there's the black door. And there's a white door. So here's what happened. Right when I was turning the key, the key just snapped. Crazy. I know. So, I call the locksmith. That way, you know, I wouldn't have to try to get away with it. That way my dad wouldn't find out. So, he tells me, 29 bucks, I'm going to give you a quote. And he tells me 150 to break the lock. I'm like, no, I'm not breaking the lock for 150. So I call my dad. I tell him I locked myself out of the house. Told him what happened. I snuck off the ride aid without his permission because he actually was shopping himself. And, ugh, boy. I had to wait 20 to 30 minutes. And, ugh, it was a crazy day overall. I'm not going to explain what happened afterwards when I got back into the house. Because then, you know, I ramble on too much. So, here it is. The video that I shot on this date in 2016. Right in front of my house. And I double checked the video. My address is not in there. So, if you creeps want to find out where I live in Fresh Meadows, good luck. Because you're not going to see my address. So, here it is, the video that I shot on this date, February 19th, 2016. And quick warning, the video is not going to be in portrait mode. Well, it's not going to look the way it is now, but, you know, just be prepared. It's not in full screen. How about that? So enjoy the video. And until next time, take care. Ah. <sighs> I locked myself out of my house. I know it sounds crazy, but what happened was I have keys. And what happened was they got broken. And I had to call a locksmith. The locksmith said, you know, I'm gonna have to charge you 120 to break the lock, and I told him no. And I told them, if I have the 29 bucks on me, 
I could just pay the service charge to at least give me a reliable quote at least. Because I figured, you know, I didn't want to waste this time. And, you know, I thought I had 27 on me, but I have 29 and now I'm flat broke in front of my own house. And uh, I told my dog I was going to be back in less than 10 minutes, but the 10 minutes is now an hour and a half. And, uh... Well, actually, almost two hours. I didn't want to break the, the nut in the lock, because that would have been stupid. I didn't want the police coming here, because then they would have done the same thing, but, you know, a liability, you know? Then I would have had to go to small claims court, and then that would have been a complete waste of time, so... Now I'm just waiting in front of my house for my dad, because that's the right thing for me to do.